one of the most creative agencies in the region. Also, Memak Ogilvy Tunis is one of the most creative region in the region and also... The world. <laughs> yes, and also won lots of things at Cannes. How it's important for you to be a network of advertising agency that are very, very creative in the region? It's very, very important because it's the only thing we sell. Uh, we are about our ideas. Um, our clients come to us expecting good ideas and so coming to the different shows and being recognized for, for developing good ideas is very very important. Um, it's, it, it proves you have the right standard for the world and uh, no longer is North Africa and, and the Middle East allowed to be excused to say oh but we're from here so it's okay. No longer. It's, we are we're on the world stage, the world is so small, our ideas have to be at the standards of the world and uh, that's what Mamak Ogavi we try to strive for and we aim for. Since five years, uh, Mr. Eddie Motran established a strategy to be present at every uh, festival of creativity and advertising show and to show the powerful and the power of advertising region in this, uh, this kind of thing. Yes. What's it important to be present in Dubai Links and Cannes? Can, yeah, it's very important because we're on the world stage. You've got to be recognized by your peers around the world, not just your peers at home here in Dubai or in Tunis or anywhere around the Middle East. So being there, being present, um, showing, getting, getting a bit of work that's recognized is very important. Not only for you as an agency, because it, it helps with the, your, your recruiting, it helps with your, your, your morale, but it also helps with your, um, your learning, because you, it's like a muscle. Cre stretching your ex the creativity is like stretching a muscle, and the, the more you push it, the harder you work it, the better it becomes, and the stronger it becomes. If you stay at a low standard, you'll always stay at that standard, but if you aim for here, you will get better work, and you'll push yourself much harder, much better. Excellent. With 14 uh, offices and the new one in Qatar uh, yeah. since uh, two months ago, uh, is it there is difference between the region, Middle East, and North Africa? Is it a very specific uh, place? I think the Middle East has a there's a difference in every office, in every country. I mean, it's the only area of the world where it's got a title for the whole area and we're all considered the same. I mean, I work a lot with New York, with London, with everywhere, and they keep saying that, oh, the Middle East, the Middle East. It's like going saying, oh, Europe, or oh, Europe. It's not. It's, it's London, it's Paris, it's other places. And, and the Middle East is not, no longer can be drawn with one brush. It, every country is getting its own character, its own style. Um, although we should all work with each other and, to, and off each other to develop better work and to have a nice tension. Um, but North Africa has got some beautiful, amazing creative people. Uh, because it's a very creative culture, and creative industry, creative background. And the Middle East, the same kind of thing. Um, I've always believed that a country with the most tension, whether it's political or creative or hunger or ambition, creates better work. Whenever a country is really relaxed or really chilled and not doing much, it's very hard to do really good creative work. It needs a bit of that tension. And uh, Tunis has proved that beautifully with all their work because of obviously your background. But Dubai has had a similar kind of ambitions. And Saudi hopefully in the future will do the same kind of work because of some little bit of political or cultural or, or human tension, which creates nice ideas. It's easy to be a big fish in a small pot. But to be a big fish with lots of really big fish around you, you become a really good fish. Um, and that's our ambition. We want, uh, my ambition anyway, and the agencies, is, it's not just one or two offices that do really good work here. All of them have to, because then everyone's standards get better across the board, which means all of our clients expect better work from everybody, which means our universities educate better, which means our, we could charge a little bit more and be valued for our ideas better. It's, it's all, when you push yourself to be better, everything gets better. It's not, you just don't want to spike and you don't want to push everyone else down so that you look taller. You're still the same height, you just pushed everybody else down. But if everyone becomes taller, you become a really strong unit. And then the whole region gets re re respected from the world. And then when you get respected, we get better work, we get better ideas, we get better briefs, better budgets. And everything becomes more positive and better. How do you define Mimet Ogilvy Network? <laughs> we, um, I don't know, uh, I guess we, we define ourselves as striving for best ideas and striving for ideas that touch people. Um, humanity and people has been talked a lot about in the last couple of days is, is very important and we all often forget who we're talking to and what we're saying and what we should say to them. But uh, yeah, it's, it's very, I think it's creativity in the heart and, and people um, is what we, Namak Ogilvy represents, where, whichever office. It, again, it shows the power of ideas, one single idea. 
has gone and changed a country's um, the industry of the country. Advertising is never going to be the same in Tunis and Sepulveda again. It's gone and made, recognized talent that we never thought talent was coming from. There's, uh, it's not only the first art director, one of the best creative directors, one of the most awarded ideas, one of, one of, one of. And the country now, you're going to see, has got this hunger. And I think it's going to hopefully push the whole country higher and expect better ideas. The only thing I hope is, obviously with all the exposure, you get lots of attention. And lots of people will come and go and travel. I'm hoping they'll always come back with the learnings and bring it back home. And I'm hoping other people will look at Tunis as an option for coming to, get, to go and enjoy creativity from other parts of the world, whether it's uh, France or um, Middle East or anywhere else in North Africa, that Tunis becomes a nice hub of creativity.